Hello. Uh, today we're gonna try to treat uh, a diesel fuel that we produced, that I produced out of uh, out of uh, used engine oil and bunker oil. It's all mixed together. It's not that clear. Uh, another one thing: there's many people who trying to reform uh, used engine oil into diesel fuel and not everyone admits that this fuel is not really suitable for diesel engines some people trying to run very old oil engines it seems to be okay but the problem is uh, after this kind of reforming there's a formation of asphalts and uh, polymers that will settle everywhere on every surface of uh, fuel system gonna clog and uh, your engine gonna be gummed and it's not really good quite nasty so not everyone treating the fuel or telling how they do it today I'm gonna try to treat it so this is a system I built uh, it's got a reactor more like a biofuel reactor and uh, oil pump with a oil filter so it's electric motor pump filter and actual vessel that I gonna use So what I'm gonna do first is a glass jar and drum with a processed fuel. It's not that transparent. So I'm not trying to run my engine on that yet. So we're gonna take some sample and it's gonna be our before sample and then we're gonna compare it with after sample. Here's our sample, we're gonna keep it. It's quite dark, really dark. You can see it. So now we're gonna load the reactor and try to run it. I never run it before, I didn't run it.
the map is not primed yet. It's all empty. At least we're gonna take some time. Create an extra pressure so when everything is still intact, to be intact. So we're gonna leave it like that for a while. I'm gonna leave it like that for, for an hour or so and then see what's the difference. Now uh, what we've got, uh, we've got a stupid dog somewhere not far, far away. Okay, apart from the dog, uh, we've got this diesel fuel that's been uh, pumped around, like circulating for about five hours. And also I gave it to settle for about 20-24 hours, like a day. Now I'm gonna check the difference. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a big difference, but the thing is, uh, in most cases, it's not the actual color or transparency of the diesel fuel that determine it, determines it to be quite good, but the actual uh, ability of the fuel not to uh, sort of induce any kind of deposits on the walls of the uh, drums, vessels, uh, petrol tanks, or something like that. Uh, so, the ability of the fuel not to contaminate. Now, what can I tell you? Uh, this fuel has changed its uh, order, absolutely different order. The order of normal diesel fuel, it's not like an order of uh, processed one. If somebody's processing, they know how it smells like. Uh, plus it's cleaner, obviously cleaner. Uh, so we're gonna gonna see what we've got here. Here's our before sample, and it's gonna be our after sample.
I don't know if you can see the difference. Uh, probably looks the same from the distance. So what I want to try to do is just try to use some natural light, like sunlight, uh, to see through if there's a difference because there's a shadow. Now you can see some difference of before and after sample, in this case after and before. Uh, it's lighter, a bit lighter, so it means some unwanted things are no longer in the fuel. And, it's, and it has absolutely different odor. It smells differently in comparison with uh, original non-treated one. So it smells exactly like the diesel fuel is supposed to smell. The first one smells more like a smoked one, you know, like a smell of smoke or whatever. So I believe we just remove from the fuel something we, that we don't really need in this fuel and get a normal diesel. Uh, I will do some more experiments with uh, with this uh, system. Uh, also I will try to treat the diesel that I've got from the uh, diesel fuel separation separator or separation machine because uh, like a diesel petrol separation machine sorry when when you're separating uh, you've got petrol coming out absolutely transparent and all the calorie coloring that used to be in a petrol actually ends up in diesel and you end up with a sort of red, col red colored diesel you know uh, I think I would be able to make it transparent again so about yellowish rather than red thank you